First of all, thank you so much for joining me. There's been a lot of talk about these employer vaccine mandates. We've seen large companies put them forward. Do you expect that that will continue? And what's the process behind the decision-making on something like this? Yeah, thank you, Rhonda. It's, as you might expect, a, a loaded question. Um, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission has indicated in its guidance that private employers have the right and the lawful ability to impose a uh, mandatory vaccine policy for their workforces. Um, of course, Congress has not stepped forward, uh, neither, neither uh, federally or you know, state assemblies have stepped forward and immunized employers um, if they would decide to impose a vaccine mandate for their workforces. So, you know, at this point, as I've been advising my clients, you don't want to be the litmus test. You don't want to be that straw person who imposes a vaccine policy requiring employees to get vaccinated um, and then be the one subject to litigation that the rest of the world is watching and waiting and seeing. But we have learned over the past several months now that certain industries, it seems to be perfectly acceptable, if not expected, such as the healthcare industries. Um, you know, uh, care for senior citizens, private care homes and facilities. So what happens if an employee does not want to get vaccinated? Are they potentially setting themselves up to be terminated from their company? That's a great question, Rhonda. It really depends on the facts and circumstances of the situation. For example, if the employee is suffering from some sort of health condition or a disability as that's defined by law, or um, is pregnant at the time and is receiving guidance from his or her medical professional that they cannot or should not be vaccinated because it could cause harm to them or their unborn child or something like that, then the employer has to accommodate or find a way to accommodate that employee's request for exemption unless it imposes an undue hardship on the employer's operations and business. There's also an exemption for employees who have sincerely held religious beliefs, which under federal Title VII and under New Jersey state law is protected. And again, the employer may be obligated to accommodate that employee's request. But if the employee does, does not qualify for one of those exemptions, and the employee just simply does not want to receive the vaccination for some other personal reason, then the employer may be able to discipline or take disciplinary action against that employee. And that could lead to litigation. I assume that you would expect to see litigation will follow in the months ahead as some of this shakes out. Yeah, there has been litigation already, but again, it's been more in the industries where we expected to see early vaccine mandates like the healthcare industry. In fact, there was a case down in Texas um, where an employee challenged the employer's vaccine mandate, and at least at the trial court level, the employee lost. Um, I do expect there will be a, a greater wave of litigation as more and more employers step up to the plate and tackle this very difficult issue. Ben, thank you so much for your insight today. Appreciate it. Absolutely. My pleasure, Rhonda. Thanks again.